my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for Saturday, June 25th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general for the day for all 12 signs, so just take what resonates. But we're going to jump right into it and pull from the Spellcasting Oracle deck, and then we're going to use a tarot deck that I haven't used yet, brand new to my collection. It's quite fun. It's called the Queer Tarot. And um, let's begin. Do some shuffling. Do bear with the background noise as I was informed it's uh, important for the reading. Okay, I didn't mean for it to come out that way, but I do feel like, okay, that was key wording. But um, the, you may be dealing with background noise, certain um, annoyances throughout this day, if you need to say, for Saturday. I'm hearing things will change. Things will change, um, whether that's true or not. Interesting. We have courage for the overall energy slash focus. And I feel like this is how each of us being drawn to this reading are um, coming off. Needing to dig for that inner courage, courage, excuse me, to get through this specific Saturday. But feeling like you're um, needing to, underneath it all, think about an individual commitment you have to a job, a project, a hobby. Could be to a relationship. I feel like for some you're thinking about a future commitment um, while wrapped up with another one, okay? Or just wrapped up with something else in general. You could find that you are easily bonding with people even in the midst of certain uh, difficulties, okay? The courage to keep moving on is what I'm hearing. Let's keep pulling. This is the, um, the back of the cards. Let's do some shuffling. What else do we have for this upcoming Saturday? Okay, they're still a little bit stuck together, but we have the King of Wands um, for the first quarter. Okay, we're gonna break it down. And that feels quite um, matching to this Courage card, but I truly feel like we begin the day feeling um, quite confident, bold, uh, either courageous or needing to dig for that courage to keep moving forward throughout the day to do what you got to do. But I truly feel like um, there's a very passionate way about you, okay, about each of us. But I do feel like um, there's a push to recognize why we're feeling a bit feisty at certain points throughout the day, or even specifically for some right at the beginning, okay. Pulling for the second quarter, we have the Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups. And then what do we have for the third quarter? Let's move these up. The Fool. And to finish up the day, we have the Empress. Okay, feeling as if these are definitely coinciding to a certain extent. Let's clarify the King of Wands. I mean, we did speak upon it to a certain extent, um, but I feel like there's more to it than that. Um, I feel like something important or somewhat important is taking place in this first quarter for you individually. We have the Ace of Cups and I feel like there's um, a focus on the fact that where you're at is temporary to a certain extent and that there's more abundance uh, in the future. You're feeling as if for whatever reason in your bones there's abundance to be acquired throughout this day even if once again there are certain annoyances feeling like you could be quite overly serious uh, at certain points throughout the day, but if you look at the tarot deck, the coloring um, of it that I was you know, pushed to choose for this day, it's meant to be a colorful day, all right? I feel like there's a lot of people in your midst that you're wrapped up with. Um, they're saying drinking for some, even if that's not you doing the drinking. I feel like it's a day of fun but productivity, okay? I'm now hearing the stars are aligning as I'm drawn to the stars um, up in this Knight of Cups. Sorry, they're bigger, so I can't fit them all in. But I truly feel like we make our way to the second quarter and we're moving with a level of confidence, but um, feeling a bit emotional all the meanwhile. Okay. And we also have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and I feel like it's also speaking upon how you're thinking about how you have a choice in which direction to go moving forward a crossroads if you will that may come to mind but i truly feel like either way it's you moving with the level of passion in the second quarter to do what you have to do 
but also with some emotions quite present all right what you create what you develop is quite um important it's very successful okay and again serious bold um courageous and i feel like there is a uh, slight focus on helping people as well throughout this day okay the devil coming out and that one's what i'm going to take for a clarifier for the knight of cups i feel as if there's a focus on each of us being uh either overworked and or uh overthinking at this point in the day and that could play into why there are certain emotions that need to be worked through or just acknowledged in one way shape or form they're saying you'll get through this you'll get through this okay again i feel like what you're putting out to the universe throughout this day is successful there could be a potential to make money for some but i feel like it's a day where change even change that's kind of um restricting or combative to what feels natural is being implemented or at least attempted to be implemented it could be in a work environment could be in a living situation a relationship um, something of the sort certain connections feel different I want to say but I also sense that it's just a reminder that everything's continuously evolving and it's a day where you need to um, just prepare for the future right it's going to be beneficial obviously to stay present in this day to stay in the present moment um, to not get wrapped up with the past or the future too much but there's also a push at a certain point to remember that your future uh, is very different from where you're at now okay not to get too um, pent up or um, wrapped up in uh, the difficulties or the annoyances of certain adjustments okay but I do feel like you have a choice throughout the stay with the lovers card to um, to stay courageous, to stay bold, or to give in, okay, <clears throat> to that fear within. I feel the need to say. Others might be trying to change what you already know is what I'm getting. We have the hierophant coming out for the fool card, okay, and so this is coming out a, a, a second time for a reason. It's to begin the second half of the day where we each individually feel as if we desire or are being reminded through what's taking place throughout this day that a big leap of faith is needing to take place in the future, okay? And so I feel like that's closer than you think or closer than you once thought. But I also feel like with the Fool card, there's a push to move in a light way at this point in the day as I do feel like you need to enjoy oneself um to vibe in a very colorful way and to expect the best moving into a situation or just moving through the, this part of your day um i'm hearing two keys will be presented one isn't for you and that's for the future all right i do feel like um there is a focus on balancing oneself out at this point but it's about taking that bold kind of overly serious focused courageous way of being and balancing it out with this sort of fool card fun uh sunny way of being and i feel you'll acquire what you desire by the end of this saturday okay and even more so in a larger sense moving forward but we also have the empress to wrap up this day now i feel as if your helpful nature comes into play in this last quarter um feeling you know because the empress can definitely represent a motherly um nature about whoever it's speaking upon but i also feel like your connection to the sun to nature um even to the night sky will come into play to a certain extent even if you just think about it but i do feel like um people love you okay when you need to help somebody in this last quarter for some of you drawn to this reading it reminds them why you, they love you okay or they love what they're doing okay i feel as if you're thinking about patterns um fruitful behavior is what i'm hearing okay um you're also going to have this quick reminder it's going to be quite brief that what you give birth to in the future however that pertains to you i feel it's quite tied to that fool card and uh that change we've been talking about in a larger sense you're going to love it okay you are going to love it yeah again a connection to the moon but i feel like there may be one if not two people around you who are a bit emotional and being aligned with the knight of cups you could still be a little bit emotional yourself okay but i do feel like um there's a bit of a secretive sort of 
um, slight chaotic vibe in the air, but need, needing to be the color in a situation and to keep that strength and motivation alive, okay? As I feel like you could be moving a lot throughout this last quarter, okay? It's a Saturday where you're staying productive. And once again, change is on the mind, even trying to be implemented. And you're being reminded of, once again, a big change in the future that's gonna leave you much happier than where you're at now. Um, but I feel like you begin and finish, okay, begin the day at feeling like the King of Wands, but wrap up this specific Saturday feeling like the King of Pentacles, feeling quite comfortable and, um, but not complacent and feeling financially rewarded in one way, shape or form. All right. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing Saturday and I will see you next time. Bye.